Hey, what's going on guys? This is your boy C. Wheel back to you with another video. Super excited today. Why? Because we are finally, now we are checking into being able to see what is the speed difference between the PS5 internal SSD and the 980 Pro that you saw that we installed. So if you haven't seen that video just yet, make sure that you check that out. I'll put the link or the card up in somewhere or you'll be down in the description below. So if this is your first time here, welcome. Here we do everything tech, all things tech. Whatever it is, we like to do it. And man, if you're a returning viewer, I appreciate you the most because you keep everything going. So without further ado, let's get moving. As you can see right here on the screen, Ghost of Tsushima just came out, Director's Cut. So definitely gonna be checking that out. Uh, but we got Ratchet and Clank. Uh, we actually, we'll be going over Ratchet and Clank, uh, Resident Evil Village, and Spider-Man Miles Morales when it comes to the actual speed difference. And so, um, up here at the top, just so you can see in my settings, I go to storage, uh, console storage, um, still showing uh, empty right now. Why? Because I have all of my PS5 games um, on the M.2 drive. And as you can see here, all of my games are stored. And yeah, so the first game that we'll start off with is uh, Ratchet and Clank. You'll see me start off with the internal speeds first. Then we'll switch over to the M.2 speeds and they'll actually be up side by side on the screen. So you could definitely be able to see what's going on, what it's like and all that good stuff. So without further ado, let's get cracking. You let me know what you think and I come back to you at the end of the video. Thank you. 
Is it over? So you had an opportunity to see what it's like. And for what I could see, they are pretty much neck and neck. And, you know, you got sometimes the internal SSD will kind of edge out the M.2. Then you got sometimes for the M.2 will edge out the internal SSD. Um, the great thing about it is, is that there's virtually no difference between using the internal storage on the PS5 and then the M.2. And this is still the beta software. So... I'm definitely looking forward to the final firmware that's going to be coming out, hopefully within the next couple of months or so. Um, but everything is going great for me. No issues with my system. And as you can see, the great thing about it is, is that you buy the right type of storage. You could get the same performance as what you're getting on the internal uh, PS5 drive. And man, I'm excited about that. So if you want to see more videos like this, definitely make sure that you hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you receive all my notifications. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.